Hi guys, welcome back to Pawan Education. So today we are learning about the how to represent root seventeen on number line. Let us go to represent root seventeen on number line. So first let us draw the number line. So it is the number line. So mark the arrows. So we can mark this point as the zero. Take a compass because the distance between the numbers on the number line must be equal. So I taken this is the length between the one unit. So it is one, it is two, it is three, it is four, it is five. On the left side to zero is minus one. So now we can edit it. You know that it is one, two, three, four. Five and it is minus one. According to the concept of represent root seventeen on number line, we want to draw a right angle triangle. Then only we can go to the represent of root seventeen. So let us draw the right angle triangle. For example, so how we get the sides? So we know that we can assume it as triangle ABC. So ABC. So AC is root. Seventeen. So how we can write root seventeen? So we can write it as so root seventeen equals to root of sixteen plus one. So we can write it as root of sixteen plus one. So how we can write it as root root of sixteen plus one? We can write it as four square plus one square. So according to the Pythagoras theorem, AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. If we send square, it get Roots, so AC equals to root of AB square plus BC square. Now substitute these values here. So we can get AB equals to four units, and the BC equals to one unit. So BC equals to one unit. So now the AB is four units, BC is one unit. So let us draw the same right angle triangle here. So first let us. Draw. We know that it is one, two, three, four, four units. So we want to draw a ninety degree angle here. So draw a semicircle. So draw a semicircle with this point. Draw an arc here. So it is sixty degrees. With this point, draw an arc here. It is one twenty degrees. With this point, draw an arc here. So we can get ninety degrees. So at this point, draw an arc here. So now join these two four. So Join these two four, so we can get ninety degrees angle. So it is ninety degrees angle. So we know that the AB is four units, one to four units. So and the BC is one unit. So let us consider. Let us draw the one unit here. So take the length of the lay. So the radius must be the length of one unit. So it is one unit. So with this point four, draw an arc here. Draw an arc here. Now join these two zero. So join this to zero. So so we join this to zero. So we know that A, B, and C. So A, B is four units. So right here, four units. So A, B is four units, and the B, C is one unit. So the hypotenuse AC is root seventeen. So now take the radius as the length of the hypotenuse AC. So it is root seventeen. So like this, take the radius. So draw an arc with this radius. So you can observe the cut here. So that is known as the root seventeen. So we represent root seventeen on number line. So in this video, I hope you all learnt about the how to represent root seventeen on number line. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to Power Education.